root versus non root mods that is the topic of discussion for today's android custom rom basics so when you try to mod your android device you know you get some videos from yours truly which say root only i mean other youtubers they're like make the video and then two minutes into the video they tell you you require root i put it in the title in the thumbnail so that i do not waste your time anyways coming back to the topic so there are certain android mods which require root access and then a question which pops up a lot is can this be done without root so the answer to that is kind of complicated in the current situation it actually depends on the device so here and i have two devices this here on the left this is the redmi k20 pro and then here on the right hand side i have the poco x3 pro so on this device it does not have dynamic partitions on this device you can actually do a root only mod using twrp recovery why because let us say i go into wipe and advanced wipe i have the option of system and vendor and most of those root only mods are changing files or adding apks or deleting apks whatever they are doing from these two partitions so you can actually convert that magisk module into a twrp flashable module and flash it from twrp recovery because you can mount the system and vendor partitions now you're going to ask me then why is that not done i will answer that later in this video so for non-dynamic partition devices you can actually convert a magisk module into a twrp flashable thing which means you can do it without root access but 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 on say this poco x3 pro when i go into wipe and advanced i do not see the option for mounting my vendor and data and that is because this has dynamic partitions now for dynamic partitions the android custom rom basics playlist is linked in the description of this video and we do have a video for that so you can watch that so i think again i think i'm not sure that on dynamic devices you cannot you know convert a magisk module into a twrp flashable thing because you cannot mount your system and vendor in twrp recovery and that might change down the line but at the time of recording this video that is not happening so on the poco x3 pro or say dynamic partition devices you cannot convert a magisk module into a twrp flashable zip file or say any custom recovery for that matter now coming back to our question then why is that not done so let us say i am making a video root only and why do i not convert it to a twrp flashable zip and then pass it on the answer to that is it's a pain it's a pain because let us say you get into a boot loop after flashing that twrp flashable zip then you have to dirty flash your rom again some people do not have the rom on their device and in certain cases you might also need a factory reset which is why i personally advise that you have the rom which you have installed on your device on your device so that if you run into any such situation you can always dirty flash your rom but then again creating a twrp recovery flashable zip is a pain magisk modules are just easy and they are easy because recovering from a magisk module boot loop is also very easy it's like as easy as going into advanced and then you can go into file manager go into data adb and herein you should have a folder called modules and delete the module which you just installed as easy as that for fixing a boot loop caused by a magisk module which is why people prefer magisk modules now coming to or talking about magisk modules that is also an advantage right why because on this dynamic device this device with the dynamic partition i do not have a twrp flashable zip so how do i execute or implement my root only mod well i have a magisk module so that magisk module is working on the dynamic partition device why because magisk module is loaded once android loads i cannot access my system and vendor partition explicitly so that is why i also personally prefer magisk modules easy and easy to recover from a boot loop as well and of course you also have non root mods so those non root mods can be done without root and 
another very surprising question which i get on non root mod videos is what if i am rooted well go ahead and do it root only mods are exclusive to root only devices non root mods can be done on your device whether it is rooted or it is not rooted